So that's Jaquela Alanta, 30, a senior data, data, data manager. No kids, Virgo, ATAL. What kind of man you looking for, boo? So I'm looking for a man that is very um, marriage minded. I'm trying to be married. I want to have kids, um, but I will not have anybody's children until I'm married. So that is a deal breaker for me. <laughs> um, I am also very involved in my community. So I would like a man that is like, you know, black liberation minded. I know like somebody that's a reader, somebody that is very um, involved in their family. Um, and then I know this is gonna be like a big thing, but I do not want to date any men with children. I do not have children. I wanna build a family um, from a foundation of like not having to deal with any outsiders, uh, having input into my family. So it's very important to me to build a family with somebody who does not have children. Okay. Uh, what are your deal breakers? You kind of named some of them. Yeah, no children. <laughs> um, so I, I, I get this a lot when I'm dating. Um, people are like, oh, you don't date men with children. It's like I've dated men with children. Um, I've had like great experiences uh, with men who have taught me that in order to build the foundation I'm trying to build for my family, I need to just be steadfast in the fact that I do not date men with children. Um, That's it. Yeah. So there you go. She's stressing it. She 30, no kids. Uh, she pro-black, like she's saying. She said community movement. She looking for her pro-black king. Hey, you know what? She she got no kids. She 30. Hey, there we go. That'd be about it. She needs to just be more feminine. And coming up on the Kendra Circus, Laying on your bed and stuff like that is always a subpar presentation. You know, we're going to see the Kendra cam. You know, she can't, you know, she, we, she can't do much about her face, you know, but we're going to see. We're going to see what we got going on. Yeah, say whatever she about to say, because that's all that truly matters. I mean, that's the start line is the Kendra cam. It's unfortunate yeah. Kendra don't start right. with it. So a woman can come up here saying all the right things. Yeah, then you gotta stand up. So let's see what we got. <laughs> so my other deal breaker is just uh people who have not done a lot of self-reflection or self-work. I've done a lot of self-work, so I think it's important to be paired with someone who has done a lot of self-work. Um, so as long as you can be self-reflective and be accountable, um, I think that's very important. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um Yes and no. So um, my family and my friends make fun of me because I've never dated someone who is not black. Um, <laughs> I've never they think dated. that you should have dated somebody that's not black. So my friends all like have different opinions about like why I'm still single. Like all my friends try to like match me, like match me with people who are like their husband's friends or their boyfriend's friends. And a lot of times for me, it's just like. I would prefer to be with somebody that is black. Um, I'm not close-minded to dating someone who is not black, but I think it's very rare to find somebody who has the same uh, ideology as me if they're not black. So, so your friends are they married or with non-black men? No, that's the thing. Like my friends are married and have boyfriends that are black, but they're like, you're just so. Like, I don't know, they have this concept that black men uh, have trouble dealing with women supposedly like me or whatever, like, you know. Uh -huh. What is she saying? So these are the people that are closest to her and they know her best. They know she got attitude, she's combative, disagreeable. She need a Brad or a Chad that she can push around and be herself, if you will. There you go, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> even your friends are test. It's got to be tough. You know what? It's a shame, and it's it's funny in all the worst ways because this just has no idea that most likely this this feeling she got now, this feeling of desperation that that forced her to call up on the Kinder Show, is gonna continue on for the next twenty, thirty, forty years. 
It's unfortunate. Man. She come up here and she are obviously pro black. Everybody's black, married black men, but they saying you need Brad in your there life. You Listen Man. here. It just how you it just how we got guys that may be good dudes, good catches, but they don't be making y'all little man in the boat tingle. Same thing here. She ain't got no kids and all that, but she ain't giving. She ain't applying no kind of pressure. Now she ain't. She must be now. built wonky. She yeah, must be built poorly. But the- that's that's gonna drive the point all the way home. And what are those? What are those things that they feel are like you that black men don't want to deal with? Um, I've been on my own since I was seventeen. Um, I've also dealt with like trauma. Um, I feel like this is, I try not to leave with this, um, but I was raped when I was 19. I got pregnant as a result of my rape um, what? and chose to have an abortion. What? Um, I've been in therapy dealing with some of the trauma that's associated with that. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now it's making sense. And I said this a while back, you know, black men are not y'all therapists. So a lot of times they're looking for a man and they want to dump this trauma on him, quote unquote. No, go get fixed before you try to find a man. Yeah, and at the absolute least, this ain't the place to dump that. And But they keep dumping it. They, you could have withheld that. Seriously, that was not... That trauma dump was not in her best interest. It's most unfortunate. It's most unfortunate. At the very same time, why air that out on Beyonce's internet when it's riddled with trolls and things that are like, come on, man. Come on. Man, it's so bad. So here we go. Shout out to Rakai Media for the super chat. We appreciate it. <laughs> says mr walker gavin next my collection or, or my contribution for the collection plate at the sbc church yeah! Boom, shakalaka. yes we, we appreciate you pat we we pass it around pass it around drop something in there twos and fuse hit that cash app hit that super chat hey don jeter don't be taking that out the collection plate it's deposit not withdrawal don deposit there we go. Shout out to Rakai Media. Like Mr. Walker said, we're going to take a second here. We're going to pass the plate around. Y'all know what it is. All right. Hell! Hit the collection plate. Hit the cash app. Hit the super chat. All right. Rakai Media, pass the plate to your right or to your left, whatever way it's going. We're going to keep <laughs> it moving. All right. So here we go. We appreciate it. Yeah, she shouldn't have did all that. Now, listen, like I said, this Kendra can, we're trying to get to. Um, and so I think that to them, they're like, there's so many men that would be like honored to have you as your wife, but it might not be a black man. I don't know why. Because I disagree they, with your friends. They have black black male like, I don't, boyfriends I don't. and husbands, but they're like, Ja'Kayla, you're such a great woman, but you just are so... They they call me like blackity black. You know, I'm very revolutionary. Like, um, I've been acting for all my life. Person. Like, I mean, for each their own. I, I, I honestly, and I say this all the time, whatever you love is what you love. But I never heard of a black woman being um, scorned because she just only wants to date black men. Usually it's the opposite. If you, if you would have said, I don't want a black man, that would have been like something we would have deep dived in. But I totally understand that you want to date a black man. I disagree with your friends. There are plenty of black men because black men have also been through trauma. So I don't think it's fair to say a black man is not going to want to marry you because of your past. I appreciate that. Thank you. I accept that. (laughs) Um, But we keep going. Does this guy have to make a certain amount of money? Um, No, he doesn't necessarily have to make a a certain amount of money, but he does have to be able to take care of his own expenses and not be looking for like you know someone to come in and did her phone die no her name is still there jacayla am i still here okay. yeah not you are sorry somebody is calling me i'm sorry oh that's why i was calling you <laughs> okay what was the question you were asking oh money to see how make a certain amount of money so he doesn't have to make a certain amount of money but he does have to be uh like legacy building minded i feel like that is something that is 
very important to me. I work hard to try to like, I do have student loans. I, I'm not gonna like <laughs> be up here like I'm debt free. I have student loans that I'm paying off, but I have a plan in order to pay them off within the next couple of years. So just somebody that is like legacy minded, what are you going to leave behind? And like, what are you going to actually have for the children that you wanna create? Let's see that Kendra can. You That's talking cash, cash money, That's man. Let's um, connect the Legacy. I just came from like a canvas, so I probably look crazy. <laughs> Can you see me? Okay. We see you, boo. All right. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right. So, like I said, right now the dots ain't connected. Not sure. Like I said, I, I, outside of that trauma, she trauma dumped. So, I'm sure that's that's the bulk of it. She done trauma dump. She probably ain't never get healed or do any. Yeah. You know. and, yeah, ain't no, ain't no telling. You know, folks and they checked her cash app. She a bit of a weirdo, whatever that means. But yeah, here we go. You're talking about legacy and you want all this, can't handle kids, strong deal breakers and things like that. Understood. Granted. But you need to, what does that man want? Maybe he want a little bit of fitness. Do better. Shout out to Theo Coop. Come on now, do better. So here we go. This woman here, like they said, weirdo. She can be into some type of Harry Potter or, you know, whatever, reading. But who knows? Y'all know the culture. If she ain't up there twerking and, you know, dancing and strip, because y'all know what it is. If she ain't doing a debauchery, she can be considered weird. So, i.e., why they telling her she need to find Brad or Chad? Because Black guys ain't into Harry Potter and stuff. I don't there know. You go. Shout out to the nerds. Rise of the nerds, baby. Rise of the nerds. We see you, boo. Is there here? Is those um? Is that locked? Oh yeah. So I've been locked for ten years. Oh wow. Okay. I told my mom, so my mom has locks. A lot of the women in my family have locks. And my mom always is like making fun of me because her hair is longer than mine. But I wanted to lock my hair since I was like in the fifth grade. And my mom was like, that's an adult decision. You need to wait. So I waited. And no, 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 when I was cares. in college, I decided to lock my hair. So my mom's hair is longer than mine. But no, I have been 10 years locked. <laughs> I got you, boo. Jaquela, what was your last relationship? So my last relationship was a year and a half ago. And okay. yeah, it was uh, just a situation with a man who had children or he had a child um, and he was 36 and he had a 17 year old and he was traveling for work, changed his address to my address. And that was his way of telling me that he was gonna stay with me for a couple of months. Did he end up staying with you for a couple of months? No, he ended up being single. Yeah, no. He didn't have a place to stay? So he had a place to stay, but uh, he wanted to move. I was moving. Um, I've lived on my own, like no roommates and nothing for like the last three years. And it's just been like a enriching experience for me to be live by myself. Um, and I communicated with him about that. Like, I don't see myself moving in with anybody until I'm married um, or at least engaged. So if, you know, that wasn't the case. And so he, you know, had to find somewhere else to stay. Okay, fair enough, child. And I just changed while you was on vacation, baby. Uh, I'm like a scheming, scamming, nug, nug. Boy, oh boy. This is to hear. Yeah, I don't know what more meat left on the bones. The band. Here we go. We're we'll put the ball in y'all court. We're gonna bring y'all to the congregation. See how y'all feeling tonight. She said no she said that Nug Nug expressed to her that they was official by changing his address. He said, Yeah, babe, I know you've been noticing changes. I know you noticed. Know you know, my drawers and my and my decrepit toothbrush laying around. Well, guess what? Now I get mail coming here. That's right, babe. We official. We together. So there we go. The question is in the chat, people. Go on ahead. Answer the question. The question in the chat, if you're looking at the live chat, go on ahead. Click the yes or no. 
do she get the band? All right, we don't know. Do she get the band? Or is it somebody out there for this 30-year-old woman, no children? She ain't completely blowed out. She ahead of 80% of her competition. And, but the software is some type of corrupted something. I voted no. I voted I don't think she should get the band. You know, cause she ain't she ain't bone quishied out. She ain't she ain't hundred percent affected with the bone quisha virus, not hundred percent. And and up here, that's that stands for something. It could be eighty percent, but it's a shame. But the numbers is the numbers that stands for something. So with that being said, considering all the data and statistics, I gotta say that maybe she don't get the fame, perhaps. Maybe. So well, here we go. It's seeming like no, they at 62% no. Okay. I'll there speak we go. Uh, Listen, no children. She ain't completely blowed out. If she fall in love, if she fall a guy she's smitten with at some Comic Con or something like that, it could it could go down. It could go dizzy. It could go down. It could be a good thing. I got hope. <laughs> I got hope for. Best there we go. Hope. We're gonna end the poll here. Y'all have spoken. Sixty-two percent no. You live to see another day, Bone Quisha. You live to see another day. Pass with a mid D.